Alex, this is the first chance I've had to speak to you since the closure of the transfer window. Are you happy with the balance, depth and quality of the squad you have now until the rest of the season? Yeah, I think it's uh, no secret to anyone that obviously we'll try to do some business in the transfer window. Um, and there was a lot of hard work put in, uh, but unfortunately some things you can't, you can't affect. Um, and ultimately that's what it boiled down to so yeah we've got the squad that we've got to the end of the season which I'm happy with um, obviously Kyle's away on loan to Turkey and we've managed to bring Tony in so um, yeah the squad's, the squad's fine between now and the end of the season You're obviously the perfect person to offer an insight into what Tony Andrew can offer what, what sort of player can the Norwich fans expect to see? Um, yeah well he's got good quality um, he's a versatile player an attacking player he can play in a variety of positions um, and he certainly scored goals in the time that I've had him so hopefully he can add that to the team Onto the football from the Birmingham game obviously you, you could take a lot from it but what do you want to add to that performance this weekend? Goals <laughs> you know in a word it's, it's as simple as that um, I thought defensively was good our retention of the ball was a lot better um, but we didn't really carry enough attacking threat within the game and that's something we were looking to improve on Obviously Blackpool have struggled this season what's your, what's your approach to this weekend's game? Um, well, we've got to go and win the game. It's as simple as that, you know. I think every home game you've got to set out to go and try and win, as we did away from home as well, but um, the balance on Saturday probably wasn't quite right, and we need to make sure we, we get that right for this weekend. You made plenty of changes last week. You've had a good look at most of the players now. Do you have an idea of your best 11 in your head, or is it still horses for courses each game as it comes? I think it's each game as it comes. Um, you know, it's still been a relatively short period in time that I've assessed the squad, um, and some of the guys I've not even seen play yet, so that, that becomes a wee bit difficult. But I've got a rough idea of the spine of my team, and I think that's the most important thing. Um, and we're looking to try and keep the spine of the team um, together as much as we can. Good bit of news for this weekend. Johnny House's suspension is over. He returns to the squad, I see. Yeah, um, Johnny's been a huge loss for us in the last three games. Um, and now, obviously, he'll return to the fold, which is great. It gives me another option in midfield as well. Injury updates. Gary O'Neill, he broke his toe. How, how's he coming along on his road to recovery? He's still recovering from his toe, Gary. Um, he's not managed to do any sort of physical work in terms of running or that yet. It's still too tender. So um, once that clears up, then he'll get back involved. Are you still talking weeks with Gary? Though? Yeah, you'll still be talking. It's one of the gradual processes. You just need to see how the sort of pain barrier is for him. Um, and once that sort of clears up, then he can get involved. I'm hoping it's going to be a week, possibly two at the most. Ryan Bennett struggled with injuries this year. I mean, is, is there light at the end of the tunnel for him? How, how long are we looking at with Ryan Bennett? Yeah, Ryan's returned um, to some sort of light running. He's been doing some work with the strength conditioning guys. So um, he's not back in the fold in terms of training yet. But we'll just try to build the hamstring up and then try and move it on from there. And we had a behind closed doors game here against Chicago yesterday. Vardis or Didier Afo played an hour in that. I mean, is, is he close to a first team return? Uh, yeah, well, he's still got a bit of work to do. You know, he's been injured for the, well, all the season really. Um, so we'll just try to build him up gradually. Don't want to do too much with him and push him too far. Um, and as you say, he got 60 minutes yesterday, so that's a good step in his recovery to first team football. And finally, Alex, Frankie McAvoy's first week at Norwich. Has he settled in all right? Yeah, he settled in great. Um, the squad have trained really well this week, and we're looking forward to the game tomorrow.